Wonderful good day from Munich here. It's Commodity TV and it's Inca One Resources time. With me here is Edward Kelly. He's the president and CEO of this very interesting, small but very interesting company. And we will talk about it uh, uh, to give us an update what happened in the last four or five months because we spoke the first time at PDIC 2013 in March in uh, Toronto. And I found the model already there very interesting. And now I'm happy we have the guys here in Munich today. And yeah, to talk about what happened, what have you done? Ed, thanks for taking the time to come here to our studios. Um, we spoke, as I said, in March at PDAC. So I was uh, yeah, astonished about mm -hmm. your business model, what you are doing, and uh, what happened since March? What have you done? Well, it's uh, great to see you again, Johan. It's been a few months, and uh, it's been very busy for the last uh, four months now. Uh, since the last time I think I spoke to you, we had plans and we had uh, signed a uh, an LOI to be able to acquire this project and just in our finishing up our due diligence process. We've completed all that now. Uh, we've been on in the mine site. We've been getting our infrastructures in place, whether mm -hmm. it be from getting um, wenches and uh, buckets and carts and uh, doing some drilling and mm -hmm. uh, getting all the, the electricity and all the components, the major components that we need to be able to get the mine started. Mm -hmm. What's about uh, permits? Do you have that also all? Permits it's as all well. Done now? All, mm -hmm. all the uh, formalization permits have been uh, completed mm -hmm. and uh, even on the way to be able to be complete uh, up to 350 ton permit for the formalization process to be complete by, uh, we're expecting this fall. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about the plant and that you go straight like into production. One thing is toll milling, mm -hmm. the other thing is that you can produce out of your own ore. So what happened there? Do you have to plant? Are you doing something now? Have you started production? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, the last time I think we spoke, we talked about us uh, needing, we didn't, uh, we, we bought the mine, yes. but we didn't have a plant to be able exactly. to produce yet. And yeah. that was kind of a big question mark. And uh, yeah. I'm happy to say just uh, about 10 days ago, after uh, looking all over Peru and scouring for uh, uh, a plant up and down the coast to be able to fit our model, mm -hmm. uh, we were able to find one and uh, we completed on the due diligence and took possession of it just about uh, seven days ago. Mm -hmm. wow. So we're happy about that and it gets mm -hmm. us into cash flow and securing our own uh, ore processing. Uh -huh. yeah. So that means that you have starting from now direct cash flow? Let's yes, say from yeah. August we, we, we just, yeah, exactly. From the time wow. we have to do some maintenance on the plant uh -huh. now, but uh, once we uh, get it uh, running, it's, it's yeah. been operating for the past five years. Mm -hmm. We just want to take it over, put some investment into it, take it up to a point where we believe that it's uh, stress mm -hmm. tested, mm -hmm. and then uh, start processing our Great. own ore. So that means you are not in danger because I saw on the, the balance sheet you have only $400,000 still in the bank. So. Uh, as I always said, uh, the walking deaths around right. with below the 200,000. Yeah. You are not in debt stress, of course, because now you're really earning money and you have the money inflow. Yes. And um, what, what have you paid for that, for that plant? Well, that plant uh, will cost us a total of, uh, after uh, all investments mm -hmm. and um, upgrades, uh, um, and the cost of acquiring the plant uh, is approximately $600,000. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to be going to the market now to be able to uh, do a, a debt financing. Mm -hmm. Now that we're in cash flow, we can uh, afford to be able to go to the market and you can pay, you can uh, pay interest. Pay yeah. interest. We've got cash flow. So um, we're, uh, we've announced that on the acquisition of this mm -hmm. plant and uh, we'll be completing that in the next uh, short while. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's interest there. Investors are giving you the money. Yeah, investors already. are looking for different kinds of uh, mm -hmm investments these these mm -hmm. days investment vehicles and because we have pivoted and gone from a traditional resource company mm -hmm. to a more integrated uh, mining company where mm -hmm. we've got you know your traditional resource uh, project as well as now we've got a mine and we've got a plant mm -hmm. um, to be able to process and create cash flow we can go and we've got different options available to us mm -hmm. to uh, finance these kinds of projects mm -hmm. instead of just straight equity mm -hmm. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing now is just through a, uh, a debt offering, mm -hmm. pays 10% interest, paid quarterly. And nice. um, Canadian investors are looking for that mm -hmm. uh, more of a higher yield versus yeah. a, uh, the risk of uh, an equity okay. investment now. Good. With, with what daily tonnage you are now starting in the plant? What's, what's the daily production? Yeah. Um, what, what can you get out for this year? What, what do you think you, you, can, you can make a million profit or two millions or three or whatever? Yeah. Uh, what, what is the plan there and what are your production costs precisely? Can you yeah. elaborate well, the, a bit on that? The plan is to, um, I mean, the plant was built. It's not a huge, beautiful plant, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just starting out and it only costs $600,000. So mm -hmm can't have huge expectations, but of it course. does produce cash, yeah. um, starting out at 25 tons per day. 
And uh, we initially, uh, with about another $100,000 investment, we believe we can double that capacity to mm -hmm. 50 tons per day. Mm -hmm. And at 50 tons per day, uh, we can produce enough, uh, well, from, from our own ore as well as uh, tow milling ore, be able to take the company into a positive cash flow mm -hmm. position and stabilize the company. And we don't have to rely on outside markets if we just wanted to stay at that. Obviously, we've got bigger plans and there's a, there's a tremendous amount of opportunity there mm -hmm. to be able to increase the tonnage and, and just the business that's available. So we, once we've uh, optimized that, got it on solid footing, producing the cash, we will increase the, the capacity at about, uh, we've committed to our, our management team and our board of directors of uh, 50 tons per quarter. Mm -hmm. um, so by Christmas, you add 100 then, or minimum? We plan. Our business maybe. plan is uh, well, yeah. about 100. Okay. About 100. So that's, uh -huh. it's probably safe to yeah. be able to and say that we'd like to be at that uh, that number, if not just from our own plant, but coming out of our, our mine mm -hmm. as well. It's exactly. a tonnage. And what do you think you can earn this year, money-wise? Yeah, good question. Um, our business plan shows that after uh, 12 months, starting July 1st, mm -hmm. um, we will be able to produce somewhere in the round, our goal is to produce somewhere around 7,000 ounces of gold. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, depending on gold prices and whatnot, we should see, you know, our, our business model shows a profit of around $2 million mm -hmm. conservatively. So that's a PE of two almost. Um, of your market cap today. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, okay, that's quite yeah. cheap. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's, let's come to a little bit of a breakdown of your costs. What, mm -hmm. what what will be the cost per ounce and uh, yeah. what's the situation uh, there? Our model, again, it's, this is all modeled right now and what we've been working with and, and um, uh, based on. Uh, we're based on a, a 10 grams per ton gold. I mean, mm -hmm. our, our grades from our, our mine on, on the veins that have been sampled are running anywhere between average of 14 to 17 grams per ton gold. Mm -hmm. So we've, uh, after dilution and um, metallurgy, we're using a model of about 10 grams per mm -hmm. ton gold. It's pretty conservative then. Um, yeah, we think that mm -hmm. as well as toll milling. You know, toll milling is running anywhere between 30 grams per ton to mm -hmm. 90 grams per ton. So we believe mm -hmm. that with the two, we should be able to have a, a solid uh, basis of mm -hmm. uh, 10 grams per ton. Mm -hmm. So based on that and say, you know, uh, gold prices of uh, we've modeled that now down to uh, currently around twelve hundred dollars per ounce. Mm -hmm. um, our cost per ton is running for mining, uh, budgeted for forty five dollars per ton. Okay, now this mm -hmm. is working in Peru, and it's mm -hmm. not mechanical. Uh, you know, huge machines or anything like yeah. that. Small scale mining, and uh, our transportation costs are quite high right now, uh, mm -hmm. around forty dollars per ton. Mm -hmm and our uh, milling costs around $85 per ton. Mm -hmm. So you put that all together, it's about $170 per ton based mm -hmm. on 10 grams per ton. So if you take that to a, a cost basis per ounce, we are looking at around $510 cost per ounce. Mm -hmm. uh, all in, you yeah, add the taxes, you gotta pay the government and some yeah. partner fees mm -hmm. and our uh, G&A overhead in uh, Canada um, takes us to uh, a profit of just over $300 per ounce. So all of our costs are just mm -hmm. in around uh, under $900 per mm -hmm. ounce. And of course, this is only with the, yeah, with the low tonnage now yes. calculated. If you put more tonnage on. Yeah, we'll get some scalability there. Efficiency of scale, right? Exactly, okay. exactly, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, very interesting. Huh? This is an interesting yeah. model. We're excited absolutely. about it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I believe that, wow. Yeah. Okay. So we've stress tested Sounds, it down to, yeah. you know, after efficiencies and taxes, if uh, gold got down yeah. to, Eight fifty, nine hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Then you know we'd have to kind of look at some uh, higher grade ore, mm -hmm. um, as well as maybe some more toll milling. Mm -hmm. But um, even at that basis of just toll milling, you, we can be able mm -hmm. to uh, continue okay. in our operations. Okay. So it sounds like you have a busy summer then, and uh, until Christmas with all that stuff. Let's What's talk, going on? Let's What's talk shortly sure. about Las Huaquilas. I hope I pronounced it right. Yeah. That's your second project, but uh, to me it looks more little bit for the future but yeah. there happened something good also for right? sure you, you for got sure. some permits or whatever yeah. For that. yeah yeah no that was our original project as a traditional mm -hmm. mining or exploration company that uh, mm -hmm. we started out with uh, a couple of years ago and it's uh, it's uh, you know one of your traditional uh, exploration projects with lots of uh, upside potential for a, maybe a five mm -hmm. million ounce gold deposit mm -hmm. uh, we've been working on getting all of our environmental and uh, uh, community studies and all put together. We submitted that to the government in January after about two years of working on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, just um, about a month ago, we got our DIA from the government. 
-hmm. which what, allows what, what, us what, to what be is, able to... What is DIA? What, what is that called? It's like an environmental impact uh, statement, oh, okay. which uh, says that the government has looked at and reviewed at all of our uh, plans and mm -hmm. uh, our, what we'd like to be able to do as far as a 20-platform mm -hmm. drilling exploration program. Mm -hmm. And uh, that now has been approved by the government. So, mm -hmm. so you are with could, conformity to all standards, rules, and regulations. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. So, you know, in this marketplace, um, it would probably start off about uh, which doesn't in this marketplace uh, today, as it stands, mm -hmm. uh, there isn't really the appetite to go out and spend maybe twenty, thirty million dollars on an exploration program for a large project and drill it out and then get some kind of feasibility study done and then mm -hmm. you know build a mine. There is going to be a mine there someday. Just right now, uh, there isn't the appetite for that exploration cost to mm -hmm. go into it. And that's one of the reasons why we saw that about a year ago, uh, the marketplace changing. We decided to pivot and go into producing cash flow and not be part of the, the walking mm -hmm. dead that uh, exactly. I'm sure you've heard about <laughs> in Vancouver. Yes, yes, great. <laughs> um, yeah, one last question. What is your share in the company? Do you have shares? I absolutely have shares. Uh, I've got approximately just around 3 million shares that I've bought and paid for myself. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. almost, what, 7%, something like this? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, 7% uh, so you, are, you have the same interest as all your shareholders? I'm definitely aligned with shareholders. Very yeah. good, very yeah. good. When you will you start to pay dividends? Well, that's a good question. Um, you know, it's going to uh, one day I, I'd love to be paying a dividend, especially when you own 3 million shares. Um, but kind of what we've talked about is that, um, you know, we want to build this up to around 1,000 tons per day after we've put together around, you know, four or five of these plants up and down the coast of Peru. And at that point, we'd be in a firm position to be able to start paying a dividend. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ed. All, All the right. best for that. We will watch you carefully. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there, ladies and gentlemen, that was Edward Kelly from Income One Resources, the president and CEO. You heard it. That's a new business model for yeah, Peru by now, maybe for other um, countries too. And it's quite interesting because the company yeah, starts started to build plant and mills because milling capacity is not available really in Peru. And uh, if you take the land map, it's quite interesting. They will build up in the future, I would call it those ore processing centers. Yeah? Yes. And I think it could be very unique business model. And uh, yeah, we are curious how this goes on in the future. We will keep you informed. Stay healthy. Thanks and bye-bye from Munich.